Hi, welcome to Lena Bottoms channel. My name is Samantha and I'm a special guest here today. You may recognise me from my Instagram account, Purple Sewing Cloud, or you may have seen me featured in some of Tilly's patterns and her book. I'm very excited to be here today. Tilly's asked me to come here and speak to you um, to celebrate as part of Disability Pride Month, um, to celebrate people with disabilities in the sewing community. Tilly has asked me to come here today to share my top five sewing tools. Now, the world of sewing tools and accessories is vast. So I have picked my five top ones that I use every day in my sewing practice. I also think these sewing tools are not just good for people with disabilities. These will work for everyone. Um, e even if you don't identify as dis having any disabilities, it might just be that your fingers can be a little stiff or you know somebody with a disability and you think that these sewing tools might help them. I'd really implore you to keep watching, see if there's something I can show you that will help make your sewing practice less frustrating. Number one on my top five sewing tools list is pins. Um, so my preferred pin is the Easy Grip by Prim. And they have these really large purple heads that just make them much easier to grip. I've popped another pin there just so you can see the size difference. I recommend these pins to everyone. Um, they work for all sewing abilities and they work for a multitude of issues that people have with their fingers, whether it's low, de de low dexterity or low grip, or even numbness, they really help so many people with their sewing. They're also really great for younger sewists as well that might not be able to grip the smaller pins as easily. So that's my number one. And number two is this pin dish. It is life changing. Um, and it, I can't tell you how easier and quick, quicker it makes my sewing, but also a little bit safer too. Um, so let me show you it compared to another pin dish. This is a normal magnetic pin dish and this is the, pin, the magnetic pin dish that I prefer. This is actually silk pins because I've just sewn my wedding dress so I had to keep my silk pins separate from my normal pins. Um, and these have got the really tiny heads which didn't make my sewing my wedding dress very enjoyable but um, I found it hard to find silk pins with the larger heads. Look at this pin dish, they're all muggled up and to get a pin off you quite often stab yourself with the, other, with the pins and it can just be really frustrating trying to just pick one up. Whereas with this pin dish you can see they're like sprayed around in a circle and when you actually remove them and pop them back on they go back into that circle so the little heads are always just hanging off the end and it just makes getting them on and off so much easier even when you're not looking at it you can always find the heads which I just find so so wonderful um, these pin dishes are by a company called Zirkle I'll get all the information tagged below so that if you're interested in a pin dish like this you can um, check that out. Snips is my number three <laughs> on the list. Snips are probably my most regular used tool. I can be sat at my sewing machine for an hour and use my snips a hundred times, whether it's trimming threads, trimming a notch, um, trimming a little corner off. I am always using snips. And these are my favorite, these are my OG, these are the ones that I like to have close by to me at all times um, when they're not lost. <laughs> um, so these are the Fiskars Easy Action Snips. And the great thing about these is they're spring-loaded. And it's, although they're spring-loaded, it's a really light and easy spring. So you don't have to put too much pressure on if you've got problems with your grip. They've got, and they've got this rubberized handle that makes them really easy to pick up, the non-slip, and the little points on them are incredibly sharp and precise. And these, I, I can't tell you how much I recommend them. When it's something that you have to pick up a hundred times in an hour, it's gotta be the most accessible thing. 
when I'm using little snips with holes in, I find it so incredibly frustrating when I can't get my fingers in the holes or they're hurting me or I've got my fingers in the holes but it's not quite right. These are the ones I always go back to and these are what I highly recommend. Number four on my list is this. This is a silicone iron mat. Let me show you how I use it. I just have it on my ironing board on my right hand side where I have my iron usually um, and it just removes this motion. which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're pressing um, a garment or a dozen seams, let's say, that motion, well, you put your, put your iron down, move your garment around, pop your iron back down, that motion can be really strenuous on your arm, your shoulder, and having this just means I remove that motion from my ironing and my pressing and it makes it so much easier it me previously to using this I would get tired after five ten minutes of pressing and I always thought why am I so tired from just pressing a garment and it was because I was doing this the whole time and it was putting so much strain on my arm and my shoulder as soon as I brought this in the little silicone mat it removed all of that and it's also really great if you like going to um, like um, social sewing, sewing gatherings, you can take this along with you and then you can use any iron there and it makes that iron more accessible to your needs. There is an iron available, um, I think it's um, quite, it's quite expensive, I think it's about £100 that will actually do that motion for you. So. When you stop using it, it like pops up. This is just a really cheap and much easier way to make your iron more accessible. The other thing I also recommend is lower your ironing board down to seating height. Um, it will make pressing and ironing so much easier too. Pop a little stool next to your ironing board, you're ready to go. Number five on my top five sewing tools is this. This is a tabletop needle threader. You can get them in various styles, but this is the one I've been using by um, Clover, I think it is. I've used so many styles of needle threaders over the years. The little metal teardrop style with the little wire. I've used ones in the shape of little birds, but even using those, they're so tiny and so hard to grip, um, it doesn't make threading in needles any easier. But these ones, I really recommend. Let me show you how you use it. So it's got a little hole on the top just here. All you do, grab your sewing needle, pop it in that hole with the eye facing down, pop your, get your bit of thread, and you just put it in like so, and you press this little button, pop it out, and your needle's threaded. It's that easy. I've spent <laughs> so much of my life trying to thread needles, licking it, licking the needle, and it's one of those things that's so frustrating. And it can also often be a thing where you say, can you just help me thread this needle? And that takes independence away from sewing. These tools are great for people with um, vision difficulties or dexterity, grip, anyone, children, um, that might struggle threading a needle, everyone. I think everyone should have one of these because threading a needle is so difficult. I always keep this in my hand sewing kit and what I've also been known to do is if I want a smaller hand sewing kit, I will grab a couple of needles and thread them with a couple of different colored threads like a white or a black and I'll just wrap them up on a little bit of card and pop them in my hand sewing kit so it's really tiny and then I've always got them on hand pre-threaded ready to go. Um, highly recommended um, for everyone no matter your sewing ability a little desktop needle threader. So there we go that's my top five sewing tools. Easy grip pins, zircle magnetic pin dish, Fisker's Easy Grip Snips, Silicone Iron Mat, Desktop Needle Threader. 
I hope you've learned something watching this today and I hope this will make yours or somebody else's sewing practice much easier and much less frustrating. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much Tilly and the Buttons for having me. Happy Disability Pride Month!